Hello everyone, it's Shannon here for Hero Arts. In today's video, we are going to create this slimline accordion card featuring the August 2022 My Monthly Hero Kit. We're going to start by creating our slimline accordion card base. I have a regular 8.5 by 11 sheet of cardstock here, and I'm going to trim down the long side so my cardstock now measures 10.5 by 8.5. Now I'm going to score along the 10.5 side at three and a half on both sides. And my little scoreboard is a little bit too small, so I'm just sliding my paper up here and continuing to score on that three and a half uh, point. Now I'm gonna flip my, uh, or kind of turn my paper so I can score the other side at three and a half as well. And again, I'll slide my paper up here just so I can continue that score line all the way down. Now I'm going to fold up my accordion card base. Again, I'm gonna fold that front panel over and the back panel will get a mountain fold. Now I'll just crease or score down those um, folds and now we're ready to do some extra trimming. We wanna actually cut down the front of our card as well as the middle of our card. So I'm gonna open up my card base here, place it in my paper trimmer, and I wanna trim down that front panel or the front of my card down to two and a half. So I'm going to line it up here in my paper trimmer and then cut till I reach that score line because that's just the front panel. Now that we've cut the front panel here, I'll pull it out of my paper trimmer. You can see we just cut it there. Now we're going to move on to the middle panel and we're going to cut um, this panel down or trim this panel down as well. We want this panel to only be four inches. So again, I'm going to place it here in my paper trimmer and then cut from a score line to score line right across there. And you'll see we'll be left with this card base that has these two cuts, one in the front, one in the middle, and we're now going to have to trim off kind of the rest here. So I'm going to line up my paper trimmer, line it up with that score line, and just cut between the two um, cuts that I just made. Kind of cut along the score line between those two cuts that I just made. And then we'll move over here and just again, cut from the cut line that we made in the middle panel all the way um, down or up along that score line. Just kind of depends on where you start. I'm just gonna start at that cut line, so I'm gonna move it on up. And that just removes that excess. You could, of course, use scissors at this point if you wanted to, but the paper trimmer obviously makes it nice and straight. But this will be actually covered up with our desert landscape, so they don't have to be absolutely straight. Now you wanna save that scrap here that we trimmed off, cut it right along the score line, and now for the larger piece, uh, we're actually gonna trim it down 1 16th of an inch. This is so it fits in nicely in our middle section of our card. If, it, if, it's, it's, if it's at three and a half, which is what it was, it was just a little bit too big, so you gotta trim it down 1 16th of an inch. Now I'm gonna grab the landscape die here and die cut both of these panels. And I'm just gonna kinda line it up here. I kinda want the, the tallest butte. I wanna make sure I get most of that. I ran it through my die cutting machine and I've die cut now my small panel. Now I'm gonna do the same thing to my larger panel. Again, kinda line it up so I get most of that largest butte and then run it through my die cutting machine. So now we have these two panels. I'm going to flip over the um, larger panel and we're gonna actually create our landscape or our desert scene on the back side, that flipped over side. So it's still flipped over here and now I'm gonna grab my stencil and you can see the lettering. If you can read the lettering, you're on the right side, but we're gonna flip the stencil over so we can do a mirrored desert landscape or desert scene on our panel here. I also wanna point out that I do slide the bottom of the panel out of the stencil. That's gonna allow us to get a continuous blend all the way down to the bottom of our panel because the panel is a little bit larger than the stencil. Now I'm gonna tape it in place and then I'm gonna tape off the kind of ground or lower layers of our landscape so I can just focus on ink blending the buttes here. I'm using a low tack tape, I'm using some micro pore tape, but any washi tape or low tack tape you have will work. Now I'm gonna grab tangerine, which is the color included in the kit, and I'm just gonna quickly ink blend the buttes. I am going to do a gradation here, so 
Um, I'm going to have it a little bit darker orange at the base of the buttes and get lighter towards the top. Once I finish with the tangerine, I'm going to grab the caramel, also included in the kit, and then I'm going to ink blend a little bit over my buttes with this caramel color. It's just going to make the buttes look a little bit more rusty. And again, I try to keep that gradation where it's a little bit darker with the caramel at the base of the buttes and a little bit lighter uh, at the top. Now I'm going to remove that kind of mask that I had that was protecting the lower layers of the landscape and then reposition the tape so I protect now the buttes that I just ink blended. And now we're going to ink blend these two lower areas of the, the desert with sand first. Again, also included in the kit. The kit just has mini ones. I'm just using the full size ones because those are the ones I have. And I'm just going to quickly ink blend um, all over the um, remaining portion of this desert scene with this sand color. Again, trying to do a little gradation at each layer. Now that I've finished my, two, my sand, I'm going to move back to caramel and again ink blend a little bit of this caramel over these two sections of the desert. Again, kind of creating a little gradation in both sections. Now I'm ready to remove my masks. And I actually do have a little um, um, part of tape that just peeled back some of my um, paper, which was a little bit of a bummer, but I was able to fix it with a little bit more of that tangerine. I get it out here and I just kind of fixed where the tape kind of peeled off the um, first one of the layers of the paper, but I was able to fix it. So that's good. Now we're going to move on to our next layer. Again, make sure you are ink blending with the stencil on the back side for this um, landscape. We want to kind of, we want to continue to make this mirrored landscape here. And for this layer, I'm going to just ink blend. Well, I'm going to start just with caramel. I'm going to ink blend both the both buttes and the ground here with this caramel color. Go really heavy handed with it, make it nice and dark. Then I'll grab the tangerine again and just do a little bit of that tangerine on the buttes just to kind of warm the, that up a little bit and get, make it a little, little bit more on that rust side. So now that we've finished that detail layer for the buttes and the sand, we're gonna now ink blend the cacti. So I'm gonna start with pine. Um, actually, I'm going to only use pine for the, cacti, for the cacti. Just quickly ink blend, kind of a light layer with the pine. We're going to go darker for the detail layer. So just quickly ink blended the plants. Now I'm going to move on to the detail layer, the final stencil. Line this up, use a couple pieces of tape to kind of hold in place. Grab a smaller blending brush here just because I find it a little bit easier for these really narrow, tiny openings. And just blink ink blend very heavy handedly with that pine ink. And once I finish that, we're all done with our mirrored desert scene. So I love being able to kind of flip your stencils around and use them um, a different way. So you get a you get a different look, a little bit different look and stretch that those stencils a little bit. Now we're going to ink blend the um, smaller panel here the right way or the correct way, the front way. So I want to make sure that uh, when I'm lining up my stencil here that I can read the letters and numbers on the stencil, line it up, and now I'm ready to ink blend it. I'm going to ink blend this exactly the same way I ink blended the uh, larger stencil or, or larger panel earlier. So now that I am done ink blending these two desert scenes, there's one little final touch I'd like to do without the stencils. I'm going to take sand here and just really lightly ink blend these two remaining areas that are the white of the paper. I just want to soften it a little bit with a tiny bit of sand. I am kind of tapping my blending tool on a scrap piece of paper off camera here just to make sure that I keep it really nice and light. Now that I finished ink blending those white areas, we're now going to move on to ink blending our uh, sky. First, I'm going to just kind of tape off this uh, the middle um, uh, panel here just to protect it and want to keep it white and we're going to start by ink blending some lemon drop down on this uh, kind of the middle area of this panel we don't need to ink blend all the way down to the bottom because you won't see it when the cards folded shut and that leaves a nice place to kind of write your sentiment now I'm moving on to um, fruit punch. I'm going to ink blend that. A little gradation here. We're going to kind of create like a sunsetty twilight, I guess. Um, well, no, just sunsetty kind of card. Now move on to a pink. This is taffy, and then we will kind of finish up here with two little, two final inks. First is blue Hawaii, 
and just ink blend that final little bit there. And once we finish with Blue Hawaii, I actually go back to Taffy a little bit and kind of um, just add a little bit more pink and kind of refine the blend between those two colors, the Taffy and the Blue Hawaii. And here I'm finishing up with Purple Galaxy at the very top. That just kind of darkens that Blue Hawaii a little bit more and almost makes it look like, it kind of helps to make it look like it's transitioning to the night sky. So now that I've finished ink blending that um, kind of sunset sky, I'm now going to move on to actually gluing down my uh, landscape panels. I'm going to start with the front panel, just glue it right down to that um, first section. And then for the middle, we're going to open up our card and glue it right down there. So this card has a, it's going to have a fun look when it's folded up. Um, in the envelope when the receiver takes it out, but it'll also look really great kind of sitting on your shelf where you can kind of see the, the, the depth of the landscape with the, with the, when the card's a little bit opened up a little bit more. Now we're going to create a moon here. I have a circle from the nesting circles die set. Um, I'm going to ink blend. I die cut it out of some canary cardstock, which is a really light yellow, and then just quickly ink blended it with a little bit of lemon drop and then a little bit of tangerine. These are colors that I both I used earlier for one for the uh, desert landscape and one for the sky. And that just adds some shading so it makes it look more rounded. Now I'm going to just simply adhere this to our um, sky here and it really just pops it looks so awesome and then we're going to finish this card by grabbing a sentiment from the included um, stamp set I'm just going to place the sentiment underneath the moon once I get it nice and straight I'll then pick it up with my misty and then I will ink it up with intensified black ink and stamp it and after we stamp that we're actually done with the card here so I'm going to hold it to the camera so you can get a good look at all the details in this super fun landscape accordion card you see how our accordion um, opens nicely to reveal a great place to write your sentiment and it also will fold up beautifully and on a shelf it'll look really cool that you'll it'll add more depth because you can kind of expand it and get more depth between those two layers of the desert and even the sky. I hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video. If you have any questions about the products I use, please check out the links below in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day.